welcome back to my channel. It's day two. We made it to day two. Did you realize like day two is like the hardest day to get through? Um, and I mean that like think about it like when you're doing a diet, you know, it's always easy to start day one. You know, I told you in my last video and if you haven't watched that definitely go look. It's a little bit longer. Um, I'll try to link below if you want to just get to day one of the Bible study. Um, but I said it took me, I, I did day one of this study like three times, but we're here, we're on day two and I cannot believe this. And so we are going to go ahead and jump in because I told you guys seven minutes or less and that is what I'm striving for. So let's go ahead, y'all see my shirt? Coffee, because adulting is hard, right? Yes, um, and I totally don't have coffee, but I do have my water and I actually just kind of spilt it all over me and it's actually beautiful outside, but it was really cold on my feet. Um, so anyways, we're gonna go ahead and jump on. Thank you guys so much for being here. Remember, we are doing the 100 Days to Brave by Annie F. Downs, and we're on day two. I'm so excited, I'm so, so excited. Um, so thank you for joining in. If this is your first time, definitely um, hit subscribe below. Go ahead and click that bell, and um, that way you'll be notified whenever I do new videos. And if you would, just go ahead and do a thumbs up let's get started first thing we do here is we ask God to be with us because we all know that I need it and I'm sure you may need it too so let's pray Heavenly Father we just thank you so much for allowing us to be here on day two of our Bible study I'm so thankful for you I know you're here I know you're gonna be in this study I ask that you be with each one of us all of us who are doing this study whenever it is and definitely be in this time that we're having right now we love you we thank you and it's in your precious holy name we pray amen all right let's go ahead and jump in because i'm not gonna lie when i opened up and i was reading day two i was just kind of like okay you know but it just kind of hit me with a ton of bricks because literally yesterday um after i did the video before i posted it i talked to my husband and i was like babe look i'm gonna do this and I said, I'm going to, he's like, you're really going to try to post a video every single day for the next hundred days. And I was like, yes. I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> what am I thinking? Um, and y'all doubt right then and there started creeping in and the devil was just trying to dig away. And I was just like, no, not going to happen. I'm going to do this and I'm going to set my mind to it. And I'm going to be like completely on board with it. But still, even over the course of today, just, you know, being so consumed with like, how many views does it have? How many subscribers do I have? Y'all, I literally at this moment, and I'm gonna go ahead and say it, I think like three people have watched the video. I know personally, I was probably one of them, and I have like 18 subscribers. If you're one of those 18, thank you. I, I was thrilled when I got to 10, and so now it's like 18, I'm only a few away from 20, so let's just see where it can go from there. But y'all, you know, that's not what it's about. It's not about that. It's literally about doing what God's called me to do. All that other stuff, it's just kind of like background stuff. I'm going to do this and I hope it gets something for you guys. I know it's going to talk to me and get something for me. And then we're just going to go from there and see what happens. So day two starts out. Um, and literally the question, you know, yesterday it was what is brave? Today is why? Why be brave? What's the point? Like, why do we need to be brave? You know, and the first thing that stopped to, like gets in my head is contentment. It's like we can be content. And we can be okay with how things are going. So why in the world do we need to be brave and step out of that comfort box and do something else? Like why? You know, maybe it's because you're like me and you know God has called you to something. You know without a shadow of a doubt that he is calling you. And you can feel it like you sit in church on Sunday mornings and you, you know, feel those toes getting all stomped on. And you know, you're like, okay, God, okay. You're calling me to do this. I really have no idea why. I'm like the least person on the face of this planet that should be doing this. But this is what you're telling me to do. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be obedient and I'm going to step out there and I'm going to do this. And so that's why we're here. This is exactly why we are on day two of this study. I'm still so excited about that. Um, so when Annie's talking in here, she always starts off with a Bible verse. And so I'm going to read you the Bible verse that she does. It's first, it's in second Timothy and she's reading out of the message um and if so if you've never read that it really breaks down the word in kind of today's language um and so i'm going to read that but then i'm also going to read it out of my home and christian and so it says we can only keep on going after all by the power of god who first saved us and then called us to this holy work we had nothing to do with it it was all his idea a gift prepared for us in jesus long before we knew anything about it but we now 
but we know it now <laughs> but we know it now okay so let me read that out of my home and christian and it says therefore i want the men in every play oh nope i am in first timothy and we are supposed to be in second timothy holy good gravies i was like that is not it okay here we go second timothy 1 8 and 9 says don't be ashamed of the testimony about our lord or of me his prisoner instead share in suffering for the gospel relying on the power of god who has saved us and called us with a holy calling not according to our works <laughs> but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began. How many times have you heard, God does not call the equipped, he equips the called. Hello. So whatever it is that you're scared of, whatever it is you're afraid of that he has called you to, you're thinking, I'm the most unequipped person on the face of this planet. I think that about myself all the time. He's not going to call the equipped. He's going to equip the called. So he's going to call you to something that is totally unrealistically crazy. And then he's going to equip you to do it, which is completely amazingly awesome. And so that's what's going on here. She's actually in this book. She's listening to two guys and they are, she's thinking, oh, they're surfer dudes. You know, she's in Hawaii and she's like, they're just talking about their wives and all this kind of stuff. But they come to find out they're sharing their testimonies with another friend to help lead him to the Lord. And you guys, that is it. Why are we supposed to be brave? We're supposed to be brave, not only for one, just because God calls us to be, but two, we're supposed to be brave so that others can see us being brave and they can go be brave themselves. We do it for others. We don't do it for us. We do it for our calling. We do it for God's calling on our lives, but we go be brave because we have got to share that with other people. And she says here, seeing other people be brave makes me want to be brave. Something just fell out in the yard. But if I go see somebody else and I, if I watch somebody else being brave and doing something that scares them, it's like, if they can do it, I'm going to do it too. And so that's why we are called to be brave. Why be brave? So that you can help somebody else be brave. And y'all, I don't know about you, but as we become more brave, it's going to change us. Yes, it's to help other people, but it's also going to change us as well. And it's going to allow God to use us in ways that we could never imagine. And so that is just so crazy. And so just remember that, okay, as you really study today and just really think about today is that why are we supposed to be brave? Why be brave? Because God's called us to that, and that is so we can go help other people be brave. And so that we can be there for them. That's exactly what she says. It says, because when we're brave enough to share the God stories in our lives, it changes the people around us. It changes us to share those stories and to be brave. Okay? And so, we are already at eight minutes. That's crazy. Seven minutes goes really fast. Um, we may have to change it to 10. <gasps> I may have to because um, seven minutes God, that's just really crazy to get a seven minute devotion in and to get everything good um, I mean it's two pages you guys two pages but there's so much good stuff in it and um, I did want to read this too it says we can be brave because we were always meant to be brave and that's exactly what it says here it says Instead, share in suffering for the gospel, relying on the power of God who has saved us and called us with a holy calling. Y'all, he's called us with a holy calling to be brave, not according to our works, not according to us, not according to Robin, not according to you, but according to his own grace, or wait, excuse me, his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began. So sorry. That was crazy apologize for that um but yes so it is a purpose that listen y'all look here which was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began so whatever it is that we're sitting here and we're just like oh my gosh I'm so scared I don't think I can go do that God knew you were gonna do it and he was gonna call you to do it before time ever began he has given you that calling and then what we have to do is like we talked about yesterday, we have to take that action step to accept that calling and go forth and then God's gonna equip us along the way. Until we take that first step, we, we are more than likely, I'm gonna guess, not fully equipped to do it. We're not. But until we take that first step, that's when God is gonna say, all right, here you go. Here's a little bit, this can get you a little further. Here's a little bit more, this can get you a little further. Here's a little more. But we've got to keep moving. And so here we are at day two. Y'all, we got to day two. That's awesome. 
So tomorrow is day three, and we're gonna keep this going for 100 days and further than that, hopefully. But thank you guys so much. We're at 10 minutes. I love you guys. Jesus obviously loves you guys so much. I'm so thankful that you were here. Let me read the be brave, because remember, she always has a call to action, and it says be brave. Think back on your day today, because I'm always gonna post these in the evening. That's just what's gonna work best for me. Um, tell me if something different works best for you and we'll see what we can do there's got to be a squirrel up in this tree <laughs> it's crazy um too beautiful not to be out in god's in god's glory though but it says think back on your day where can you see god working on your behalf where can you see god working on your behalf or just showing up for you where can you see that and then once you've realized where you can see that and where he showed up for you go tell somebody go tell somebody so real quick we're gonna get out here, we're already at 11 minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm really gonna to have to scale this back. I'm gonna to try to do 10. We're gonna change it to 10. We're gonna just see how this goes. You know what, when God when God moves, why why try to hold him into a box? Um, but you know, I was really thinking about that earlier today, about where can I see God working on my behalf? And literally, it's just in the moments where when I pick up this book, and more importantly, when I pick up this book, the Bible, God's holy word, when I pick this up, what happens? God just moves. He just moves in my heart and he just gives me this, I don't know, passion and this fire to just share it with you guys. And that is just so crazy to me because it is something I am so not comfortable with. Like seriously. And so that's definitely where I can see. So I'm telling you guys, I've, I've told my husband, get ready. <laughs> get ready to just go crazy with this telling him he's gonna be my person that I'm telling everybody everything to but I'm also telling y'all so um, definitely again love you guys thank you so much um, have a great rest of your evening and I will see you guys here tomorrow remember again to go ahead and hit subscribe down here if you want to kind of keep up with this and see where it goes and then definitely click that bell so that you can always get reminders everything definitely give this a thumbs up that just is so awesome and I just thank you guys so much share this with other people that would be amazing if you think that this will brighten somebody's day um, yeah, if you have a prayer request, please post those in the comments below because I will pray over them. And then, yeah, just definitely have a wonderful rest of your evening, and I will chat with you guys later so, so much. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to enjoy this beautiful weather. I may definitely go fix me some coffee. So, y'all have a great rest of your evening. Bye, guys.